Hey everybody, it's Tim at Broken Dice, bringing you a quick little uh, channel update. Uh, more English infantry for my North African army. Uh, Mid-war. Uh, flames of war. Just really love painting the scale stuff. Goes by real quick. But uh, let's start off with the bottom. I use like a paver sand. Well, actually, let's start with a primer. Primer is... Uh, Kind of a desert yellow from army painter then i go on the base i use a paver sand you know the kind of stuff that you use in between the stones like you're making a walkway or stuff and it's real fine uh, i use a clear glue uh, this is what i'm using primarily now and you can see it's very clear and when that stuff dries it dries really hard you don't have to worry about it all coming off and stuff now then on top of that I use some uh, army painter tufts then I go with uh, on the models themselves I use uh, just a real dark uh, just a black for the rifles um, then some English uniform to pick out like the web gear and stuff uh, jackbone for the socks and um, some of the strapping and then for the helmets, I put some jackbone on that. Uh, that's a P3 paint, by the way. This right here. Yeah. And and I do that much like I do like with the, the Gaelic Cavalry I did in my last video and the second part of this one is I, when I make do socks on the horses and stuff. Just something extra to give it a little bit more visual appeal uh, from across the table. Yeah, you, these guys are, are just just so easy to paint up, but, but they look so good on the table. Um, yeah, these guys are going to go good. This is my third uh, platoon company, whatever. So, yeah. I don't play the game that, that often, but I sure do enjoy painting these up, these little guys. Yeah. That's like I said, these helmets and stuff. I just want to get that little, oops, that little lighter color right there on the top. So you see that from across the table. And I do that with um, that jack bone and then with a sepia wash to get that little ring around it so you can see the, the tops of the helmets. Other than that, uh, this, is a, this is a really easy and fun project to do. Um, yeah, and besides that, I really like the way the infantry play out in Flames of War. I just I really like that. Okay, that's the first part of this video. Let's uh, jump on over to the Gaelic Cavalry. Okay, we're back here with the Gaelic Cavalry. Again, these are the uh, Italiari uh, models. Um, they are rescue from a, a friend of mine's uh, pile of shame that we all have. And I just thought, because I was planning on doing different scales, they'd be fun to paint. Instead of painting up my own pile of shame of 172nd models, I decided to take somebody else's on. Okay. Um, start from the bottom up. Uh, Woodland Scenics uh, blends, which I've talked about before. But uh, I add some blended turf. And then I add some fine turf burnt grass and then I mix that up and then I add on some uh, dried parsley that you can get in any grocery store in one of those large containers um, then uh, starting with the horses uh, a lot of contrast paints on those they go by pretty well some p3 paints some grays dark grays I always like to highlight the uh, change not highlight but ha take a Kind of a contrasting color to the mains uh, like white on the grays either browns or uh, dark browns on the black horses and then on the brown horses i like to change up the browns and maybe use some uh, black on the uh, uh, mane and the tail um, started off with an army primer leather brown like i did the last unit um, fairly easy to paint up uh, and like I said uh, a lot of I did a lot of socks on the horses just so you know when they're across the table it, it does give 
some sort of contrast to all the legs and the horses. I mean, uh, at this scale, I mean, you know, you, you have to have a little bit of color in them to, 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 to see the units and stuff fairly well. But uh, they're fun. They're fun to paint. Fun to paint up. Um, but that's... Uh, that's it on this unit here. That's it on this video. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you uh, don't, give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why. And if you uh, would like to leave a comment, please do. Both positive and negative are appreciated. Um, you can... Uh, I, I like taking uh, good advice to heart. Um, and that's that. Everybody stay safe, stay well, and next time we'll be probably back into 28 millimeter stuff uh, for the most part. I'm going to jump back into my uh, Dark Ages project for a little bit probably, so uh, I'll see you then, alright? Everybody stay safe and stay well.